how may I help you? In this companion to our previous turbine installation video, we'll show you how easy it is to install a Star 430 push button turbine. We're going to install a Star 430 standard push button turbine. The procedure will be more or less the same for the lube free version of this turbine. Using the specialized wrench provided with your handpiece, unscrew the end cap from the handpiece head and remove the worn turbine by pushing out from the front. Don't use the pliers or other inappropriate tools, it will damage your handpiece. Check the handpiece head for any debris. Use a scaler to remove any old shims, o-rings, washers, or bearing retainers. Compare the worn turbine to the new turbine to identify any components that may still be present in your handpiece. Use handpiece lubricant and a cotton swab to clean the handpiece head and the end cap. You can use air from your air water syringe to blow out any cotton fibers that are left behind. Before installing the turbine, be sure to check the handpiece head for dents. If any evidence of dents, send the handpiece to American Dental for repair, or you can repair the handpiece yourself using our handpiece turbine cavity reamer. This tool also works to remove stubborn debris from the turbine cavity and can be used with our ProPress 250 turbine press, a quarter inch socket wrench, or by hand tightening as can be seen here. Now it's time to install your turbine. Insert the turbine fully into the handpiece head Use your end cap wrench to screw the end cap down until flush against the handpiece head. If you're unable to fully seat the end cap, remove and check the end cap for debris or old turbine components. If your problems persist, give us a call. We'll pick up your handpiece and turbine free of charge and install the turbine for you. Finally, install a burr and roll the burr between your fingers to make sure the bearings turn freely. If you feel any resistance, remove the turbine and reinstall following steps 1 through 3. A common complaint with push-button turbines is that sometimes the chuck will not hold the burr. This is often caused by debris in the chuck and not a chuck failure. We recommend weakly lubricating the chuck by placing a few drops of lubricant into the burr end of the turbine and then inserting a burr and gently moving it back and forth with the chuck opened. This will flush the chuck and will usually correct the problem. It's also important to note that with lube-free turbines, the bearings are sealed so they will not require lubrication. However, debris can still enter the turbine cavity and interfere with the turbine components. We recommend using a handpiece cleaner to flush the handpiece after each use. And really, that's all there is to it. To see more turbine installations, click the video at the bottom right of the screen.